Hey, it's Joe Lines from the Automator, and uh, hopefully you caught the webinar Isaiah did uh, for using VS Code without a hotkey. Um, of course, it, it, you don't have to necessarily use auto hotkey with it, but uh, it, it was the webinar, the example we did. Anyway, uh, I wanted to show you a document I put together and some other ways to get hotkeys for VS Code. It's an amazing editor. Um, again, I think especially the, uh, the Git integration and debug features are the biggest things to me. If you work with other people, it's a great editor. So let's let's cover some of the hotkeys um, that are there. Uh, now, interesting enough, like pulling up the hotkeys to me is kind of a pain. So you can hit Control Shift P and type keyboard. Um, so see, I have a help keyboard. It's in my history here because I was doing it, which is very nice. Uh, but this preferences now, Control Shift H is not the default one. Um, I have assigned that, but this will get in here and you can look at all of these, which is great. And you can go ahead and click them um, and just double click and change it if you want, right? This is very handy. Um, also, let's go back to that Control Shift P um, keyboard, see this reference, this one, and I'll just click it instead of, uh, uh, showing you it's there. So it'll load it. This is a PDF. Now I've created my own. So I've created this file, which goes through and lists the ones Now I didn't, I didn't get this from that. Right. So they, there aren't necessarily mutually exclusive um, or the same, but, um, in the Excel file, you have all of them or just the ones to memorize. And, and to me, and also in the zip file, I have a PDF version of this. So if you don't have Excel, you can either print either one of these. This one, I thought I'd leave it in Excel because that way you can filter it to how you want it. Um, so these are the built-in hotkeys. And as Isaiah said in the webinar, there's some crazy hotkeys. Like who thought some of these things up is beyond me. Um, wow. Uh, it is really cool that, um, there are a lot built in and you can add more. Here's, it looks like I have at least 142 built in ones, um, which again, like this control K and control D, you know, it, who thought that up? I don't know. But, um, the great thing is they're customizable, right? And, and that's what I'm showing you over here is you can go in and assign a new hotkey that ones that you use a lot, assign what makes sense to you. So, um, another thing now, I forget exactly how I got there. It was from within the help. So in here, um, this one, this page, I got to it somehow. And what I thought was really cool, I'll put the link in the, the description of this video, is uh, this keyboard key map extension. So if you're used to one of these other editors, like Atom or Sublime, you know, or Vim, these are pretty popular editors. You can actually download this extension and it will, someone has mapped out the hotkeys for like Vim, if it was to say to comment out the line, I don't use Vim, so I don't know. Let's say it was control Q, then it would assign it in VS code for you. So I, th I think that's a really, really smart thing to do to build it in a way for, Hey, if you're used to another editor, you can keep the same hotkeys from memory and just, you know, we'll update our thing to, to reference that. So I think that's really, really slick. Um, again, you can also, um, I, I would change the hotkey. Like I said, I changed mine to be, let me see if I can get back to, um, here. So, what was it? Control shift H I think. Um, and then I could type, let's say I wanted to uh, comment. So this will start filtering right. Um, on what is there. So, or I could type like alt and it limits it. So I love the search functionality. Anyway, I hope this helps this file. Go ahead and download it. It does require an email address, but, um, we'll, we'll just sign you up for the newsletter, but that's it. And, uh, again, the, the strongest points of vs code to me it takes a little getting used to like everything else but that debug functionality now studio and site both have debug functionality built into them as well and isaiah says showing how he uses the debug i think more is a great way just to understand how we all should be using debug regardless of the editor but this built-in debug functionality in vs code is pretty astounding the other thing i didn't realize and i don't think you mentioned was you don't technically have to install anything you can run it without actually installing anything which is pretty amazing. A lot of people can't control that, um, you know, what they install on their computer. So, um, we were on someone's computer the day and he just downloaded it and ran it without installing anything. And I thought that was, that's pretty, pretty rock solid, right? Not having to be able to install something. Um, so I hope this file helps and, uh, cheers.